it's really been great just seeing how people have really come together. Like I've seen some of my neighbors put out like toilet paper. I was actually wondering, when are we going back to school and are we going to stay in the same grade? When will um, sports and beaches open? Thank you so much to all the young people that have joined us. I realized as a father how difficult this is for so many of our young people. You're gonna look back on these days and while they're gonna be a huge impact, I think it's a time I'm gonna certainly be so proud of the young people of Los Angeles, how they saved this city, how they're gonna rebuild this city and how we're all gonna fly again. My parents are essential workers and just like the rest of my family uh, and they all get home so late and I, so that leaves me to take care of my siblings as I'm the eldest child. Well, first of all, Cindy, thank you for what you're doing for your siblings and for your family. You, you're amazing doing that. And I think we're all humbled by the way that people are helping each other. And it's a, a moment for us all to grow up a little bit. And I'm just really proud of you. It makes me smile to my face to know what you're doing for Jacob uh, and for your entire family. Um, there are many LA students with no access to internet and thus no access to their studies. I was just wondering, what are you doing to help them not fall behind? I think until every student has a laptop in their home and has high speed internet access, we won't be equal. And that should be the goal. And just because you don't have uh, the wealth to have your own computer and pay uh, hundreds of dollars a month for high speed internet access should not be a reason that you fall behind in school. So. Um, I'll continue to be a really loud voice, and I've talked with Superintendent Butner to see how we can help get even more computers at home. Considering that undocumented um, families, not only across the country, but specifically in Los Angeles, um, have been left out of the stimulus bill at the federal level, um, what is uh, the mayor's office doing? So every program we're doing in the city makes sure to include everybody. So unlike the federal programs, we don't care what someone's immigration status is. You're part of the city. And if there's one thing this crisis has showed us, my health depends on your health and your health depends on my health. We were wondering, uh, Mary Garcetti, uh, will students get counseling for the struggles and stress that have come over students' shoulders because of this pandemic? Absolutely. Um, and it is so important that everybody takes care of their mental health too, because it is really, really a tough time for everybody. You know, we're missing prom, we're not able to see each other. Uh, if you have to FaceTime one more person, you're gonna go crazy. You can only play so many video games. Studying doesn't seem as much fun. So absolutely. And if you're part of LAUSD, um, there's absolute, there, there's a lot of help you can get. My friend actually started Crisis Text uh, Fund and it's, it's amazing. It's a service that allows you to have a trained professional, um, somebody who's close by here in LA and that can really help. It's 741741. Something like this, a virus like this makes us feel powerless, but I want you to know how powerful you are. You're powerful to save lives. How often do you get to do that? You're powerful for making sure your family stays well. You're powerful for making sure your studies continue. You're powerful in terms of making sure that this virus doesn't continue to spread and that we could get back to seeing each other in real life soon. Thank you.